Okay, I've got Qt open here. Um, this is the the IDE I'm going to be using. Um, this is what I'm most familiar with, and it's open source. And so this is what I'm going to use for these tutorials. So I want to create a new project. I'm going to create a console application. Put it in this folder. And we're going to do GDAL. This is going to be open and create. We're going to open and create data sets here. Okay, now this part is important. We're doing our kit selection. Notice I have two kits here. This desktop Q5.3 Ming W32 bit. This is the one that Q came with. I am not going to use this. I'm going to use this one I created, Ming Double. Ming WG DAO. Um, this one is set up to use the compiler that I used to compile GDAO. I didn't use the Qt compiler, I used a different one, so I had to bring that compiler in. Notice that I don't have a debugger set up, and so I'm going to be doing everything in release mode here. Um, I haven't taken the time to figure out how to get a debugger for this compiler yet. Okay, here we go. The next thing I need to do is I need to add in my library. So we're going to add a library, an external library or a DLL. I'm not going to do it for Mac. It's going to be dynamic, DLL. Okay. I'm going to navigate to this, the dll.a. It's a library file. I'm going to open that. It fills in my include path. I don't want a d suffix because I don't have a debugger. Next, finish. Okay. I'm going to give, I'm going to head into my main again. And we're going to include. Oh. I need to give this a build first, maybe. Let's give this a build. There we go. And there you can see I have gdal.h right here, gdal.alg.h right here. So I have the gdal hair files. So we're good to go there. Um, Give that a quick build again. And now I need to do one more thing before I'm ready to go. So, I need to navigate to where I created this project, which was on my C drive, in here, and this folder. And you can see I have this GDAL open create project with my dot pro dot pro user and main in here and I also have this build file oh I've done something wrong already so remember how I wasn't going to do it in debug this is my debug folder so what I've done is I'm in debug mode I need to be in release mode so let's put that in release mode let's build this there it is Okay, now if we go back here, we have this release folder. What I need, let's go in here into our release folder. You can see I have this exe. That's the program I'm creating. That's what will run it. I need that DLL in here. I need the GDAL DLL for this to work. So, let's go get it. Um, I'm going to open this in a new window here. And my DLL is in here somewhere. Local, binaries, libgdal DLL. I'm just going to copy this and paste it into that folder. And then we're ready to go. Okay. Let's close these. 
Okay, we're going to stop there for now. Um, now we're all ready to set up a project and we'll come back to this project in the next tutorial to talk about um, creating and opening data sets and this is just the setup for that.